big tubs of pedigree jump. It's nine o'clock. You said you're going to get up at eight because we have to go a bike and I, I, and you're not well. No, and I you have, keep feeling dizzy. Yeah. yeah Anything I'm, else? Vertigo. Vertigo. Yeah. I can't stand still. Well, so to stay in the caravan, you have to call at work and say no, that you're ill. I need to make myself feel better. I've been editing this morning and he thinks it's going to be late. I'm going as quick as I can. I didn't even have a chance to do my hair and we're off out on the road back to London. Well, Daniel's going to be there for a while and then I'm going to be there just overnight. And I'm so hungry, Daniel, we're going to have to stop and get something to eat. Home sweet home. Alabama. Which means London, basically. And it took us, what, three and a half hours? Three hours, and we've got another like, half an hour to go. I'm going to drop my bitch straight off at work so we can earn some money. <laughs> Back on my street, and I've just dumped some washing in all the whites because they were minging. And then I'm going to get my hair cut because, look. It's just like candy floss. This has never happened before. I've returned back to London and the flat is really clean. All the clothes were folded, put on the bed really nicely. I know it wasn't you, Daniel. I actually know that because he told me that Keith came around to help him. And she came and she did an amazing job. I was so impressed. And thank you, Daniel, for clearing out this crappy carpet. So now we've got a bit of space and more importantly, the moths because they were here, everywhere. I found it in the freezer and I'm going to eat it. And I know I'm trying to be on a diet, but I'm gonna really enjoy it. Keto ice cream, it's so not. I just traveled to, from Devon for no reason. I just didn't make any bloody money. And I traveled for four hours and listened to John shit all the time anyway. I know for next time, I'll call sick. Now, just because I had those three days off and go to see John, I have to suffer at work and do a double every day. So literally, I have to, I have to work every day, like more than 10 hours a day. Mm. Oh, seriously, it's a bit too much. And do you know something? I've got to get up early tomorrow and travel to friggin' Sheffield. And I could do with like... Off! I really didn't realize how much I missed my bad. That's day for the days. I'm still not ready. I was in the bath for about an hour, but it was really good because I'm to get all the hard skin off my feet. Daniel's still sleeping, so I'm gonna have um, coffee. And I'm kind of not, oh. Oh my God, what is that? 100 and... Turn left onto a 3219 okay. Doors Road. Okay, I will do Turn that. roundabout, take the second exit onto a 3219 right, Monster Road. Shut up. She's so annoying and bossy. <laughs> right, up we go. Look at all that bloody traffic. He's taking me on the M40 and I'm doing like 10 miles an hour. Boring. Oh, that was nice. My mum's opened the gates for me to get in. No, oh, thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mum. I've never been so stressed driving. I'm, I'm so glad I'm here now. Oh, but something surprised me. You know when I bought the um, flowers for Daniel? Um, I bought some for my Mum as well. And they're still all right, look. How long did you say? 10 days. Box, yeah. That slotted to the letterbox. Oh. And it was wonderful. And he did full instructions. And uh, you can look and see how much you've paid for your flowers. No, you didn't. Could you see that? Yeah. Oh, mum. Because it's a. It gives you. Oh, priceless. Priceless. Okay. 
I usually don't like wearing a helmet because it makes my hair flat. I'm gonna have to. It's the low. These two guys are pissing off. Look at the quality on that. Look at that. Look at that. Oi, stop it. Look at the quality. Tell your girlfriend. Look, it doesn't change your face though. It doesn't. The favorite thing to eat in the whole world is. Tomato. <laughs> I'm not allowed to eat them, they are works. <laughs> if they see the video, I'm fired. Oh, I can hear her. I can't let her in. This is my mum and dad's place. That means she'll jump over every bit of furniture. I mean, she already has. And poor Lily, who's so cute. Hello, Lily. Good night, I'm gonna go and have three hours sleep before I get up go on my holiday. I'm very tired. And she, she is and she's just leaving me here to look after the whole house. It's gonna be really hard work. Slaving away looking after three dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, God bless. Wake me up before you go, yeah? Yeah. Wake me up before you go, girl. <laughs> See you later, baby. Good night, mum. Look at what my mum put in the bed. Oh, Teddy, you made this room really nice for me. They came back. And because they're flying and going on holiday in like four hours, I've just left them. I just had to rush to the bedroom and sleep because I was so tired. I wanted to see you then. Sorry. And the worm has turned. See, she wanted to get up in the morning. Jack slept in the living room on the sofa. So, and she hasn't been near me yet, Jack. She's... She wants to be over me or over my face, but this morning, didn't care. Bright eyes, burning like fire. Bright eyes, something, something, something. La, 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 We've got a new addition to my rather large family. Look, look at that little pink thing there. I mean, the one on its lap. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? So that's my new niece. And then there's everybody else here. I think, you know, Tyler, obviously, you know, Jack, my brother Richard, James, who likes to shave every morning, Emily, uh, Savona, who you know, and that's Claire. And then what's Claire's daughter around there? <laughs> oh, she, yay! You see, this is what happens when you're in like one of these local northern villages. You pop around to somebody's house and everybody's here. They just sat around doing their own thing. Ow! I've got his working for me because, like, um, my YouTube channels. I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. And because he's under, well, because he's a lot younger than me, he's like, show me what to do. Ivana was just telling me that she's happy to have a surrogate baby for me. So no. I'm going to try and <laughs> impregnate her later this week. No. Is that is that okay, Tyler? No. Can I use your mum's uterus? And she agreed to it. She absolutely, she won't even notice. You know, it'll just be in and out and done. See, this is the little coat she's got on. And this will keep her nice and dry. Well, that's a theory anyway. Rebecca came to spend a few days here. And we're watching a scary movie. See if you can recognize it. Oh, he's going into her head. Yeah, have you not seen this one? I don't think so. I think she's got a cough her hand. Oh. oh, no, it's whoever can cough the most of them. Like, oh! Yeah, one of them, like, totally lops off their arm and puts it on. Oh! Yeah. That's disgusting. It's because they were, like, lending people money recklessly. It's like pound. Oh! Yeah. You can't yeah, she got stuff from Rob, she wins. That's why it is in your saw this one. Oh, you can't watch this, guys. I will show you quickly. <gasps> oh! Right, gotta go. I have a drink for this. <laughs> After much, much deliberation, we decided to go to a museum in Sheffield. Um, I can't imagine that it's going to be a grand museum, but we're going to explore and find out. I always forget, but Sheffield is really, for me, I just find it really industrial. Rebecca was saying that, it's nice buildings and stuff like that. But maybe I'm just a bit, I don't know, why don't I like it? 
Personally, I, I don't like it, but maybe I need to learn a little bit more about it. I have never ever been to a museum in Sheffield because I didn't really know what to expect. And then um, it's full of everything. Got some pots behind us. What is it all about? Oh, let's go and have a look at Sheffield Life and Times. I'm an old Sheffield man. Well, I'm actually a lot older than an old Sheffield man because the um, display behind me is from the 1500s to industry, whatever that means. Uh, but it's all industrial stuff, so we've got like glass making pots to stairs, sheep bones, all sorts of stuff. And this is the things, these are the things that they found in and around Sheffield. See, when I was a lad in Sheffield, this is what the dogs used to look like. And we used to buy really big collars for them. And we used to walk around to the local butchers to get big tubs of pedigree jum. You know, this museum is a bit peculiar because it's got all these things from all the different um, age period, like Cretaceous, they've got T-Rex, Devonian, they've got Jurassic, they've got a few Aronites here. But it's all mixed in, even with a few like recently extinct. And then we've got this small exhibit here which says close to home. And look, there's a sheep. Sheffield burial rites dictate that we have to be laid in quite a large tomb, usually made out of wood or of cuckoo saliva. We are placed with our prized possessions, iPhones, iPads, keys to our Ford Focus, and then we are laid in the sores for about 100,000 years and dug up and put on display in the museum. Because I have such a love for museums, I have donated some artifacts here. See if you can spot them. Well, after seeing all those taxidermied animals, we're gonna see some real ones. And there is a kitty cat cafe in Sheffield. I didn't even know it existed, so we're gonna pop down there and play with some pussy. Sheffield is the heart of the United Kingdom and the Kitty Barn Cafe is in the centre of Sheffield. We parked on the Crucible Theatre sidewalk. To get to the Kitty Barn, you go up a little street called Chapel Walk and it's there on your left hand side. We could only park for 20 minutes, unfortunately, but you can spend lots more time there. Rebecca, she pointed me out to this place and it's only been open five months and currently I have nine cats in this lovely cafe which primarily sells like cakes and tea and coffee and stuff like that. One thing I've noticed, it doesn't smell. I mean, the cats yeah. look amazing. I mean, look, I've least, I haven't walked around yet, but yeah. I'm looking, around, I'm looking forward to walking around and seeing all the different cats. Are they all, they're all friendly? Oh yeah, of course, yeah. It's another good thing about going through the website is we know their exact history. Yeah, um, of so course, yeah. So we know yeah. if they're good with people or not, and other pets and children and such, so. And I love that they've got all the pictures on the walls, yeah. like, oh. Yeah. People taking pictures of the character, it's, really, it's actually really great. And look, I really high rec highly recommend popping in here and supporting this cause because they're looking after cats. And these cats would have nowhere else to go, I would struggle to find somewhere. And they can have up to 11, 15, you said? Yeah, if we have them it's only 15, but I think we could be looking at 10 or 11 possibly soon. And, oh shit, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they really care about the actual difference in size. I thought I bought a Vizsla, not a parrot. Ah! <laughs> oh! Right, okay, we're off to bed. Oh, say goodnight. Good night. Okay, let's see if this shit works. Because it's supposed to be like hydrating. It just looks like a Beautiful. I never ever put like soap or anything on my face. I just 
kind of whip it off, get all that bum fluff off. Okay, I'm nearly ready. So Rebecca's coming back from school in a bit. And then we are going to take the dogs out, going to Park Gate. And apparently she needs to get a ball because her lip piercing came out last night. We are on our way to Sunny Bar, our friend. Gordon is rubbish. It is. But we're going to find um, a little spot for the dogs. Got to get them tied. I'm really not joking. She's had like four shits. And she keeps going down and pooing and pooing and pooing. And look, I've got this already full of it. Jack was sick. She shat everywhere. The car is full of hair. It honestly, I feel so dirty. And I just came out of the shower, got clean and never get dogs if you want to feel clean. So this is where I used to go all the time when I was a kid, Bogan Town Centre. And it hasn't changed much. It's still not the nicest place ever. I mean, it's worth a village for a local town, but it has changed a lot. What do you think of Northland? I don't like it. All the shops have shut down and it's just, I mean, look at like, there's no shops open, but like McDonald's in the bank. I've got some jeans. I've got my shirt, I've got my lint roller. I've got my nice jeans now, so we're gonna go back to the dock. And they're really stressing me out. And this woman in um, H&M was just saying that I need to eat because some, <laughs> I haven't eaten. I had one cup of coffee. So I think that's why I'm getting stressed and I'm tired and I'm agitated. So we're gonna go McDonald's. On into McDonald's we go. We're gonna go the drive-thru. What do you mean new burgers? They've got um, new burgers like from around the world. Like the French one is like a fancy big mac with garlic mayo on it. Pretty much. It tastes really good there. I was there ordering some chicken nuggets, which Rebecca wanted, and then I just stopped ordering, ordering because I thought, I can't do it. I just cannot spend money on getting fat. Mum, Yvonne said, uh, can you come over and stay in here? You need to go home. It's fine, just leave I, me by I, myself. I haven't been home since Sunday, it's Tuesday today. And then you leave me in this haunted house of the dogs yeah. to get eaten by Daddy Longlegs. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is a big house to be alone in. I need to know, but at least I've got the dogs. Right, I'm gonna drift away in my beautiful sleep. Twice, I mean twice, my dad woke me up this morning. He's calling me from holiday. And he's showing me this beautiful place in Spain, in Mallorca, and I'm here in Sheffield, and it's really, really wet and horrible. Oh. Cheers. Mummy and Daddy, I believe the few from Leeds and Doncaster all the way to Spain to a little town called Alcudia, which is in the Balearic Islands. It's part of Ibiza. They're not exactly the club in type, so this little small picturesque town is perfect for them. This is the Riviera Alcudia old town. What a cracking market this is. You want it, we've got it. Hello. Just a little view for you, John. A few little boats. You could play your crafts for nipping out on. I call it Millionaire's Row. This is their main harbour. Look at that. There's your mum in front. Simon and uh, lovely Wendy. There's a boat. Look at a big one. Look at a big one in the background. And look what's washed up on the beach. Yeah. And this young man. All his fault. <laughs> All his fault, that lads. So much sunshine. <laughs> so you can stick that on your blog. <laughs> it's still raining. 
So that's my excuse for not going out yet, but I need to take the dogs out. They didn't go out. Oh, they went out yesterday, but the day before they didn't. So my mum's gonna kill me if they don't go out every day, especially. Lily. Hello, Lily. <laughs> She's come to see me. And not before she went off and she had something to eat. Never invited me. I did. Mom, she didn't? Mom did, yeah. no, no, she didn't. She, she said, just stay here. So, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the chicken? It tastes like chicken. Oh, for God, <laughs> all that effort. No, 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 no shit. Chicken tastes like chicken. <laughs> I know, right? I was Good job. You know, I, I was expecting some beefier flavours, and honestly, I've got to say, I was let down by that. What a stupid yeah, you, would, you, you would taste beef in chicken. <laughs> if you cook it with pork, pork, you'll get it. <laughs> Look, it is just really not helping, but it, it really does taste beautiful and it's so moist. It, is. it really is so, so moist. I just honestly expect it to be really dry. My flesher in toilet is broken. The water doesn't stop and I don't know how to stop it. Look at this! <laughs> oh my god! I know it's gonna pour. I need to go and cut my hair right there, but no in this rain. Oh my god, oh my god! Well, I knew it sooner or later it's gonna rain so much because we had a really nice summer, but it only happens on my days off. Now that I cut my hair, I feel a bit better than yesterday, and uh, a bit of charity shopping, and tomorrow I will go out with some friends, maybe in Soho. I'm so wet. Oh my god, my poor motorbike. Oh. <laughs> the heaviest rain I've ever seen in London ever. It's just crazy. I love it. <laughs> I just want to tell you, John, that I have watered the garden today, so you don't have to worry about having dry flowers in the garden. I'm doing a good job, aren't I? <laughs> I just ordered pizza. Oh, Miss Pizza. Stupid diet. Anyway, yeah, two pizzas. The lottery, 169 million today. I know that I'm gonna win it, like every week. Well, Rebecca's left me, so I'm here by myself again, all alone. But I'm gonna watch TV too. <laughs> Just like I say I'm all alone, there's like dogs everywhere. Okay, Jack. <laughs> If I put my arms right here, they look really skinny. And I put them there, look. Really muscular. Skinny. Muscular. Skinny. Muscular. Whoa. I really messed up last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and I did something which I used to do when I used to visit my mum and dad before, and that's to go into the fridge and take out a chocolate bar. And I did, and I took out two. And I ate them. Well, I hope it's right because it looks like a new head on this toothbrush. And the last time I came up to my mum's, she actually gave me the, a new head on her electric toothbrush. And if she didn't, <laughs> I'm using hers. You said she won't mind. These are the streets we used to walk up to visit my grandma, which is my mum's mum. Unfortunately, passed away quite a while ago. We called her Nanan. And um, she had the most wonderful garden at the front and at the back, <laughs> full of plants, and she won loads of competitions. That's what's happened. They've just ripped up all the flowers and they put a drive there. Oh, God, Jack. Just like poo or nothing. It's because she had a change of food. I should have known better. And Ivana, my sister-in-law, she told me, you have no idea how hard it is for me not to reach over for this and this. MSG, yeah. I'm not gonna con, I can't do it. No, I, I mean, I'm doing well, even though I messed up. It's because of all the crap in the fridge that she's got Chinese and I can't smell it. Been eating nuts, I put some belly pork in the oven. Oh, it's so hard. This is really good, Dad. Oh, shut up! There's a place called Whiston and they have a farm shop and she bought lots of meat and look at the size of these pork chops. They are huge. See, I waited, all I had to do was wait my 40 minutes longer, put them in the oven, and I've got my keto pork chops. I think I'm actually out of ketosis now, so I'm just gonna get fat. Who cares? I actually care. Just gonna get ready now. Go and see my friend Tony 
and God out in Soho. I haven't been to Soho for a long time. Just forgot how horrible the tube is at this time of the day. There's people pushing around. And, you know, anyway, we are we are just looking in Soho now okay, for <laughs> for a bar that has plenty of people because it's everywhere is boring. You know, it's not the weekend. <laughs> I can't anymore. No more sushi and no more drinks. Nice time for a shot, right? Hey, cheers. What the hell did you do, man? <laughs> he, he spit on the homeless. I just did the homeless day. I'm so sorry. I hate that, but just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to give her five pounds. Tony is giving his number to everybody in the Soho and telling me that everybody's so good looking. This is Regent Street. Regent Street. Do the walk, come on, do, just do the walk. Keep keep going. Keep, ah, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay, 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 stay there. It was a good night, but just a bit too long, you know? I'm drinking about 6 o'clock, I'm just not used to it. <sighs> now I'm gonna do a dry October and get ready for my driving <laughs> test. Yeah. After locking Jack out, uh, ripping all the teddy bears out of this basket while I hid them, she's now laid down and she's like flopped out between my legs. Rebecca speaking to Wavy David, her boyfriend, across the waves. Across the waves in Holland. He's actually coming over soon. So, so, 19, so I might actually get to do some footage so you can see him. But for the time being, I'm going to say good night. And we will both see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. Good night. Say good night, Rebecca.